All right, guys, sorry I've been absent on this channel for a little while. I do still have the Himalayan, absolutely love it. But today I'm gonna to be talking about the Harbor Freight towable backhoe. And I'm gonna tell you right out of the gate that I'm pretty impressed by this unit. However, I did have two failures, one of which was a manufacturer defect. The other was, I will take the blame for it, I would say my fault. And I'll start with the one that's probably my fault. <laughs> When this thing comes, it comes in a crate whenever it's delivered to your house on a big box truck. This thing is on a single pallet, so you can imagine how many pieces it's in. It's pretty easy to put together, though. I will be honest with you. It was not a very difficult thing to put together. If you have any kind of mechanical sense, uh, don't be scared. It's easy to do. I did use my tractor with the front end loader to help me with the boom, putting it on, because I did do it by myself. Uh, if you don't have somebody other than yourself, uh, it could be difficult without a tractor, though. I will say that. If you look right down here, the part that was probably my failure is some of these lines are connected whenever the unit arrives. And somehow one of them was a little bit loose. So just check and make sure that all of these are tied up here whenever they arrive. Like I said, only about half of them were installed whenever I got it. Uh, by it being loose, I guess vibrating around with me using the machine, it allowed for an O-ring failure. And uh, I lost a pretty good bit of hydraulic fluid trying to crawl this thing back around to where I could work on it and obviously hydraulic fluid is not cheap so let's get to the more <laughs> i guess you would say the important problem that's a bit frustrating whenever i ordered this machine this machine came in within about three weeks uh, it took me about two days to install it so i was still riding around on the 90 day warranty that's provided by harbor freight and they are honoring this part the part that failed is the bucket if you look right here you can see that the well cracked right now i push this thing and use the boom to actually uh, bend it back in place. But if I try to dig at all, it's just not gonna do it. It just bends instantly. The weld separated from here all the way across the back and around to the other side. Now, could I fix this? Could I weld it up? Yeah, and if I didn't have a welder, it'd probably be pretty easy to pop like a half inch hole in here where, I, where I'm pointing at. And uh, maybe put a half inch bolt in there. I think it would be pretty weak, but it would be better than where it is right now. You can see where it's separated on this side as well, causing complete failure. This machine is useless currently. I called Harbor Freight's 1-800 number. They said, yes, we're gonna send you another bucket. No problem. Well, I've been waiting longer on that bucket than I waited on the entire machine. I assume, as most things are that come from Harbor Freight, it's probably coming from China. And they probably don't sell the bucket off of a package deal. So I'm coming up on about four weeks now waiting on this bucket and I'm very anxious to get it. Now I'll tell you how I broke the bucket. This thing has a lot of power guys. The hydraulics on it are actually probably more powerful than I had anticipated. With that being said, I was digging up a tree, about an eight inch diameter tree and the root mass beneath it. Uh, that's what got it was the roots. And you can say that I overworked it, maybe I did but I always like to push my equipment to the limit to see where the breaking point is. Well, I know where it is, and I'm glad that I found it while it was under the 90-day warranty. I would draw the line at roots that are above a four-inch diameter. That's just me, though. But that being said, I hope that this video is useful to y'all. I would still recommend this machine. Just make sure your hydraulic hoses are tight so you don't lose your O-rings, and make sure you're a little bit careful with the bucket.